Obadia Ocheng told the court he made this metallic box, painted it green from its original blue color, and he had no problem identifying it in court. He says Jackton Odiambo came to his workshop and possibly he was the first customer for that day in need of a metallic box. None of those he had fitted the size Odiambo wanted and he had to take him around. Of which is not even 50 liters. Ocheng, whose sense of humor left the court in stitches severally, told the court Odiambo paid him 7,500 shillings through M-Pesa before loading it into a white Toyota filter. Are you a businessman? <laughs> Just come, come with my question. Nili muambia lalisha viti zagari za nyuma hii backseat. Backseat, so... Nilimuambia lalisha hiyo viti ni kuingizie sanduku across ndani. Odiambo's lawyer, however, sought to poke holes in Ocheng's testimony about the underlying color of the metallic box before he repainted. Justice Ruben Nyakundi had to confirm the allegations. Francis Were, who runs a taxi and car hire services, told the court how he gave out his vehicle to Odiambo and later police established it was the same vehicle that was used to carry Kipto's body from the crime scene stuffed in a metallic box. According to Were, Odiambo told him he needed the vehicle for a church function. The three witnesses, including a caretaker, told the court how Odiambo inconsistently lied about a bad smell at their house and the vehicle while making all mobile money transactions through Chiloba's phone. A lot of back and forth between the prosecution and the defense lawyer today, the latter asking questions on the true color of the metallic box in question and the true registration number of the vehicle that is believed to have ferried Kito's body to the crime scene where it was found. But all the same, the prosecution believes they are building a case that will eventually bring the suspect, Jack Diambo, to book. Timothy Simwake, 24TV.